everyone, so today I've got a haul for you and this is quite possibly going to be my last makeup haul for a while because I'm going on holiday in August and I want to save some money up for that and obviously get some bits and pieces for it as well. I have got a few bits and pieces for it today um, but I have got a few little makeup items so from now on I'm on a strict no makeup buy. Um, ban thing whatever you want to call it but I am going to be buying some makeup brushes hopefully so um, we'll go ahead and get started with this haul so I've been to Tesco, Primark, Superdrug, uh, B&M, Bargains and Poundland so I'll start off with Tesco because I only got one thing from there and it was the um, new Mortal Instruments book this is the final Mortal Instruments book and it's called City of Heavenly Fire it looks like this And compared to the other books, it is freaking huge. I mean, look at it. <laughs> it's like seriously huge. Um, but it's going to be part of my reading material on my way to the holiday where we're going. So I've got that. I've actually got the other four books to read. I'm still reading the first book. I mean, what the heck. But yeah, so I've got that one. Then I went to B&M Bargains and I got three things from there. One was a solar light, but that's out in the back garden soaking up the sun. Um, it's actually almost half past 8pm here and it's still quite sunny, which... Oh well, so I'm just taking the time to just film this video. So I went to B&M Bargains and like I said, got that solar light. I also picked up two of the... Azure International Spa Collagen Woven Facial Mask looks like this, and I just I'm gonna give my skin a bit of a pamper session because um, I've actually managed to get rid of all like the spots and blemishes around here, so I'm gonna give it a bit of a pamper and just like try and be kind to my skin from now on. So I just got them. And then moving on to Super Drug, I just picked up some more to cotton wool. These are the oval um, pads just to help take my makeup off and everything. I really, really like these ones. They're just really, really good and they managed to soak up most of the products so that it's just easier to take my makeup off. Um, so I got some of them. I also picked up a new brush. This is the Barry M eyeshadow brush. Looks like this. So I picked that one up as well. So I'm looking forward to using that one. Um, so I picked up one of these, which is the MUA Lux Metallic Nails in Supernova. Basically, it's a nail polish, but it's also got foils with it, so you can do like really random, crazy designs with it. Um, then I picked up three of the Sleek blushes. This one is Pomegranate. I'm not going to be able to open it. I've just painted my nails so oh, there we go so this one's pomegranate which is a really nice kind of like dusky rose kind of colour and then we've got flamingo which is like a really nice it's hot pink I wanted some more of the sleep blushes because I've tried out um I've got rose gold and I really really like that one so this one's flamingo and I just wanted to try out some more of the other um, sleep blushes and then I also got pixie pink which is this one which is like a baby kind of pink baby is, is in fact it's more of a, like a barbie-ish pink this bottom one right here but it's really nice and I can't wait to try them all out also from Superdrug I just picked up some more of the Tresemme uh, Salon Finish Extra Hold Hairspray this is a bigger version because I got the smaller version because I wanted to try it out and I absolutely love it so I got one more thing from Superdrug and I got the um, MUA Lux Velvet Lip Lacquer I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name. I'll just turn it around and see if you can see it. Is it like Halcyon or something like that? But it looks like this. It's a corally kind of colour, but it is really, really nice. 
So yeah, moving on to Poundland, I first of all picked up five of the L'Oreal Infallible eyeshadows. Now normally these can be like pretty expensive because um, L'Oreal in my terms is a high end, high street brand, if you get what I mean. It's an expensive high street brand, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but I picked up five of the infallible eyeshadows from Poundland, so I wasn't complaining. The first one is Burning Black, which in fact is not black at all. It's more of a, it's more of like a reddy brown kind of colour. It does look really nice though. It also picks up Blue Caracao. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have absolutely no idea, but it's bright blue. And then I picked up a uh, pebble grey, which really just speaks for itself, it's grey. And um, coconut shake, which is a really nice, it's like a highlight colour. And permanent khaki as well, which is green. So I'm quite possibly going to end up doing a tutorial with all of these. Um, I also picked up some more of the um, Garnier Fructis. Um, shampoo and conditioner that I like using but that's in the bag under the Primark bag and I can't lift it up in a minute because the Primark bag is it's not heavy but it's got quite a bit of stuff in it so moving on to Primarni as I like to call it and um, these I got from my holiday and I got some shorts in this colour I what colour do they call it on the label uh, strawberry and I just thought they'd be different because normally I get like denim <laughs> shorts that are like blue or grey or something like that but I just wanted something different. I also picked up this um, mint green dress. just looks like this. It's got this really nice detailing on it. And then on the back it's just plain but I just wanted like a dress to go on holiday with. I am going to be vlogging on the holiday by the way guys so you will get to see where I'm going and stuff like that. Um, I also picked up this t-shirt and as you guys know I am like a huge Disney fan so and they're bringing like a lot of t-shirts and stuff like that now into the women's bit of Primark so I picked up this t-shirt which is Lady and the Tramp so pick that t-shirt up. And the final couple of things that I picked up from Primark, no, in fact, I picked something else up from Primark. Um, I picked up two of the egg makeup sponges because, well, to be perfectly honest, mine is like, ugh, it's like all horrible and mucky. So I just picked up a couple, one to go on holiday with and one to use at home. Um, so yeah, that's what I got from Primark. There is one more thing I got from Primark and it's this bag. Now this is a bag that I can use for every day because it's got a pocket here, it's got a pocket here, it's got a pocket here which then has another pocket inside um, and I can just kind of use this as an everyday bag. I'm also taking it on holiday with me so yeah I got that. And the final place I went to was Claire's. Um, the first thing I got from there, this is like no surprise if you've been with me for a while and you will know I absolutely love owls. So I picked up this keyring from Claire's. It's a Thai keyring, the Thai Beanie Babies. And this one is called Swoops. He's called Swoops the Owl and he's attached with my other owl keyring. Keyrings as well, so I've just got that one and that one. So yeah, I've got that one from Claire's. Um, I also picked these nails up from Claire's. These are like comic book nails. So I thought they were really, really cool and I can't wait to try them out. They're um, press on nails as well. So all you need to do is just press them on, but they look really, really quite cool. And then I also picked up some more earrings. These are actually for a friend because whereas I'm obsessed with owls, um, my best friend loves penguins. So I've got some penguin earrings. I just thought she'd really like them. And um, 
<laughs> bought myself some owl earrings. If this is going to focus. There we go. Just thought they were really, really cute. And finally, I just bought some flower earrings as well. And they were on light three for two in Claire's. So that's why three pairs of earrings. So that is really it for my haul. And like I said, um, if I do any hauls from now on, it's going to be holiday haul stuff. I am going to be doing a what's in my travel makeup bag. And um, I am going to be vlogging while I'm on holiday. So um, if you want to subscribe to me, then there's that little button down there and you can follow me while I'm on holiday and you can see what I'm taking in my makeup bag and all that jazz. And there is Wi-Fi there, so I'm going to be uploading videos while I'm on holiday. I'm possibly going to be filming like... Um, I might actually film the what's in my travel makeup bag while I'm on holiday as well because like I said, we've got Wi-Fi where we're going, so... That's good. I'm actually really, really excited. It's the first holiday we've been on since I was three years old. I'm now 19, so that is a long time. Um, I'm just really, really excited. So, yeah. Um, and then the week after we come back from the holiday, it's my birthday. So it's just like the going to be the best birthday ever. So, um yeah like i was saying that was my haul um any hauls from now on are possibly going to be holiday hauls so like different pieces of clothing and stuff something like that that i've bought that i'm going to be taking with me um i might do a like what clothes i'm taking with me i might do a holiday lookbook i don't know i haven't actually planned it out yet but um it's quite possible so yeah if you want to subscribe to me that little button down there feel free to follow me on all my social media which are in the description box down below so there's my facebook my twitter my instagram my blog blog loving and deviant art um, and yeah i guess that's gonna be it for today i hope you all have an amazing day stay beautiful stay awesome and i shall see you all soon bye